So could you pick particular scenes that you really like, that are your personal favorites? Um, from the beginning of... From the half, through the whole... Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, this is the first thing that popped into the head. I loved, I loved when, when, when they kind of show us, you know, to, together, kind of going through stuff together. Like, I loved when Zach and Zoe were yeah, around. Yeah, I love Zach and Zoe. And that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I, like, I loved the, the, the Ouija board scene. That yeah, was that was favorite, awesome. Because it was, it was just... That whole episode was really good, I thought. Yeah, it was just kind of natural. They were both, they were, Luke and Noah both had these moments where they were looking at each other, you know, yeah. like... Like, like, are these guys for real? Like, they, just, yeah. they were sharing that, and, yeah. and I like that. Yeah, I think, for me, I like, I like when they, when they are working together against something else, but I also like when the conflict between the two of them is, is because of actions, you know, because of one of their actions, um, or just not seeing eye to eye on things. Because I think what's kind of developed is that uh, Luke is very much, a character who believes that the ends justify the means, whereas Noah completely does not. So I think that, that the conflict of them in a relationship with those two completely different views is very interesting. But I, I like the Zack and Zoe stuff. I liked, um, I liked, I liked the whole Holden disappearing storyline, um, or dying or whatever. I thought that, you know, it was cool because, you know, the, I thought that Paolo and Noel and um, John and uh, Judy, who played Maeve, and, and Ab, they all were fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So, Luke and Noah must be hanging out in Java. That's it. Luke and Noah have two on set, also. <laughs> and sometimes you have exterior scenes. So, do you have a favorite set you like to shoot in? Um, it's not Java. <laughs> <laughs> No, Java's great. It, it's and don't, don't you love your Java t-shirt? <laughs> I love my Java t-shirt. <laughs> I'm shocked when I'm not wearing, when I come to the show. Here you go, I'm like, really? That's, yeah. that's not Java? That's why you like the green shirt. You so yeah. the rough one. I do, I like yeah. the other one, yeah. Um, what other set? I mean, I like when they... I actually, we always say how we, you know, we'd like to live in Lily's family room. That's yeah, a, that's oh, a nice that's, room. Yeah, I like the couch in Lily's family room. If yeah. I could have that in my apartment, I'd be great. Yeah. Um, my favorite set is. Uh, I'm going through the Rolodex. Um, I, not the Lakeview Lounge. I don't like the Lakeview Lounge. Um, I like I like Lily's family room. I think that's. I mean, that's the one we're probably in the most. But if, if you're in the same set for a, a lot, it can you can be like, oh man, the same set. It's like, it's like a, yeah, you get bored. Switching you it like up to switch is, it up. Yeah. Switching it up is the best. I like I like Al's. I mean, uh, Yo's. Yo's is fun. Yo's the uh, the dive bar. That's fun. Um, it's Those are usually like, fun scenes. Yeah, too. yeah. Except when they make us dance. <laughs> <laughs> they do that yeah. a lot. Because whenever we have to dance, just know that that's. There's no music playing. There's no music, so you're sitting you're here You're calling like, yourself excuses. I, I am giving myself a yeah. big excuse. And, and there was like a good like four month period where it was like every scene, they're like, yeah. and Luke and Noah dance. And we're like, okay. <laughs> and like oh. <laughs> yeah, but so. yeah, have fun with it. And like, you know, I don't know, me and him just have a lot of fun on set together, yeah. so. <laughs> Those scenes are yeah. actually funny. This one time during the dance, what did you do? You started, he... I don't think it. I don't think it. Aired. It didn't. It, I wasn't actually on. On. But he started like doing like some sort of like like baby got back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was really funny. Yeah. You know, it's little things too. When you know the camera's when you think the camera's yeah. not on you. Yeah. <laughs> you hope the camera's not on you. Yeah. And do you actually love or like uh, this shooting outside? Yeah. Yeah. That's fun. I mean, it's especially in New York. It's. It's a, you know, it's, it's a challenge. I mean, it's in the middle of, we were right by the Museum of Natural History one day and it was freezing. freezing. <laughs> it was the, uh, the time when we went, the Luke and Noah went to New York with Holden. The New York, and New York line. Yeah, New York, New York. Yeah. And um, Lily came with Damien and we all met at an outdoor cafe or something and it was February. <laughs> and it was freezing. It was so cold, and it was supposed to be like we're all eating in an outdoor cafe. Yeah, just you know, and in between takes, they all give us these huge coats. 
And I remember that was the day that this woman's chihuahua oh, yeah. <laughs> got away this from her. This woman's chihuahua. <laughs> she was walking her chihuahua while we were taping, and she dropped the leash, and the chihuahua goes running like through, through traffic. Through it's traffic. Through and the woman's like traffic. screaming and running. She's like, my dog, my dog. <laughs> And like, we're trying to tape, and there's this woman freaking out in the background, and Jake, actually, Jake got up and started chasing the chihuahua. <laughs> and she, she, the woman eventually got the she chihuahua. she wasn't going to catch it. She no, just but she it. got it, and then she like, no, she got to it, and she, instead of like grabbing the leash, she just started freaking out again, yeah. and like looking at it, and then it ran away again. It survived, though. The chihuahua survived, so that was, uh, it, but it was literally, more, like, cabs were like stopping. It was, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Well, I was about to ask you if you had any anecdotes about shooting outside. I yeah, well, there you go. We got this story about a chihuahua. But maybe there's another one. Uh, I have uh, one. I have an interesting one. We, um, with, you weren't there. Oh, no, you were there. Um, <laughs> when we planted the tree for Holden. That's the, the one I was talking about. Oh, really? <laughs> it was raining. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we planted the tree for Holden, and you, and I was, you were there. Attention. And all of a sudden, we were in like a clearing, like in... Jersey? Jersey. We were in Jersey, and we were in New Jersey, and we were in a clearing, and there was like uh, trees, uh, forest all around, and like we're taping, we're taping, and then we start hearing something way in the distance. It was really weird. It was like, um, like have you ever heard, seen that movie, The Happening? Yes. Like, like that, like, <laughs> and we were like, and like, we kind of all stopped and looked at it, and we were like, what is that? Yeah. It was like some monster running through the, the, the forest, and all of a sudden, it, it just started raining, so it was like the rain. You could hear it in the trees, like far, far away, and then it just moved closer, and then it downpoured on us. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, my scene was over by then. <laughs> I got to go inside the. Marie the Wilson place. actually got stuck with the worst of it because she, yeah. I think, had to come in later and like look at the tree and be all upset about Damien or something. And it was just downpour or something. Yeah. It was just the downpouring, and she was standing under under an umbrella, and we had to wait like like half an hour, forty-five minutes to for the rain to stop to shoot. So we've read a few scripts, and we have noticed that you only have not recite your lines as they are written, but you render the, the ID, the main ID. Oh, yeah. How come? Well, I, I think that um, the, the way soap operas work is you shoot, uh, you shoot an episode a day, if not more. So if you're in you know, five, six scenes an episode, that can be, you know, 20 pages. So if you, to memorize all that is very, very hard. So they allow you to, uh, to kind of, you have to get the basic idea and you have to get the, the, the last line of the scene perfectly, but they allow you to kind of. Some yeah. words they really do want to hear. They some, tell you. Some, they don't yeah. tell you, but to some, some, you know, some, so, I mean, they will tell you if you stray from it, but sometimes they're really, you know, you, you, you kind of get, you kind of know what yeah. the words are, like you, you're going to know that they want that word. And sometimes, sometimes you're surprised about what, what words they really do want you to keep in. And, but also in rehearsal in the morning, if you want to change line, you can. Yeah, yeah. If you ask the director. If you ask the director, he's okay. Uh, they're, they're okay with it. You can change line. Yeah. Um, but all, but also, they, 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 the one thing that they're very big staplers about is grammar. You can't say you and me, you have to say you and I. <laughs> and they will reshoot a scene if you say you and me. Yeah. <laughs> Which really? may, just for, for you know Americans, it's it's one of the, it's it's grammatically correct, but it's not something that everybody always keeps to yeah. in, in daily life. Yeah. So it's just, but you understand why they want to do it. And yeah. I'm all for promoting good grammar. Yes, <laughs> good grammar, even though I don't have it. <laughs>